Hey, Tree Class, we're looking for uh, an example of a sine function that has uh, this as its amplitude and this as its period. And if you recall, a, a sine function starts at its midline and it rises up, falls down, and rises back up to the midline in one period. So the part of the axis here that I'm drawing in, that's one period of this sine function. The height that it gets to at a quarter of a period, three quarters of a period, is the amplitude up off the midline and down off the midline. So it goes up to the, the highest point, down to the lowest point. All right, so that would be uh, 8 in this case, so positive 8 and negative 8. Okay, uh, it's just the sign. We're not adding anything to move it up. We're not doing a phase shift, so it's just the sign. So it's coming out of the origin, reaching a peak, going down to the valley. All right, so that's the first part. The other part is how long is this? So it needs to be six units long to be transformed from zero to two pi to zero to six now. So the period uh, of, of a sine curve is this two pi typically divided by whatever this Greek letter omega is. And in this case, it is equal to six. So doing a little rearranging, a little algebra, multiply by w, divide by 6, we get 2 pi over 6 equals omega, and then 2 over 6 will reduce to a 3. So omega is pi over 3. So we know that's going to be a pi over 3. Now, 6, that would work, and that is one possibility for this. All right? But it would also have an amplitude of 8 if we fell first, then rose to the peak, and then came back to the midline. That still has an amplitude of 8, and it still has a period of 6. It's just got a negative number out in front. So that sine curve would also do the same thing, so satisfy both of those conditions. So when you get down to your answer choices, notice it says there's one equation, it's this. There are two equations, one's when A is negative, one when A is positive, and then there's two equations, both when A is positive. So this is the one that's true. A is the number that's out in front of that sine curve in the notation that they're giving us. Omega is positive, so it's got to be here. So when a is negative, we get negative 6, or sorry, negative 8, sine of fraction pi over 3x. And then I'm going to grab, I'm just going to highlight all that, copy, and come over here and paste it. So I don't have to type it all again. All right, and so that's the other one. When it's a is positive, we get this. When a is negative, we get this. So there's our two sine curves that are possible that have an amplitude of 8 and a period of 6.